like 55, you get that guttural sort of sound. Put a delay on it, a phaser on it. And you get this thing that's going spinning around your head sort of sound, mm. which is a really easy way to modulate it. And you can do that and put it an opposite, or you can phase um, the same thing, but like a different synth underneath and it'll sound and fill out way easier. So you've got this didgeridoo sitting there, you've got that synth sitting there, and I've tucked another one in here. And it just sounds, sounds a bit messy now because the delays are going off, but it's an easy way to fill out your track uh, instead of putting in, um, I don't know, it just, it just fills out your track a lot easier. And it's an easy way to make it sound sort of um, psychedelic almost, you know? Like, yeah, and like kind of not like it's made in a computer. No, yeah, exactly. Um, it's just a, a good way. So I use Corpus a lot. I love using phases. You can't see it, but my effects racks always, I've always got like, I don't know, here I've got maybe 20 different um, effects on the bus chain for just that one sound. Yeah, and that corpus effect almost sounds like a similar thing you'd get from like the resonator plugin as well. Yeah, yeah. It's just like a guttural... I never knew its power basically until I was just messing around with different things as I like to experiment. Yeah. And then I was like, damn, I made a bus chain just for techno. You can use like a, a hi-hat and it'll sound like, I don't know, like a weird pipe thing with a yeah. small reverb and you get crazy sounds out of it exactly what i do as well i always just have a major line of just yeah. different effects and stuff but it, it ends up you know you end up getting a sound that's totally different to what you had exactly. in the first place to yeah. start off with and, and then you, you end up getting like these nice little artifacts yeah you don't even need the original sound or like what i'll do with some of my tracks i will have uh the original synth going like i made another techno track which i'll play later um and it's just like a, a standard eight acid line and I put a, um, a corpus on it, a reverb, all kinds of stuff, and put an octave up. And I've also put a, uh, I've had it at 100% stereo width. So then you've got the acid line going in the middle and changing around, and you've got that in the background complementing it. And that's all you need to fill the track. Yeah, totally. Drums, like, it's already amazing for techno anyway. So it's a lot about, sounds like it's a lot about using space that's not only kind of wide, but also deep. Yeah. Yeah. and using reverbs and delays to kind of create that like sense of distance definitely i think that reverbs and delays are one of the most or the most essential effects you need if you know how to use them right and um, i think a lot of new producers like i did as well underestimated them um, and effects in general really if you know how to use them right and you're not like going crazy with it that being said there are no rules you know yeah, totally. you can you can put whack whatever you want on there you know i use guitar pedal effects a lot as well with my techno um all kinds of stuff. And they have some great presets as well on Ableton. So yeah. Here's like a kookaburra sound. So I'll play it for you dry. This is without any effects now. Pretty standard kookaburra sound. Now I chuck on my uh, bus, which is just a reverb with uh, quite a big... Uh, size to it and decay time. I got a ping pong effect with it's pretty wet, it's 76%. Uh, I cued it. And then I've got a really um, short, simple uh, ping pong delay. It's 8.33 milliseconds and a lot of feedback. So it gives you this weird, like, spatial sound, which, and then I've got another delay which is delaying that. So it'll sound like this now. And now we'll kick in the effects. So with that now, I've also got a side chain on it. So when the beat comes in, you'll hear it ducking with the kick. And it has a lot more emphasis. Yeah.